Hello, my fashion lovers. Welcome to today's tutorial. Today, we'll be looking at how to draft an off shoulder sleeve. How to draft an off shoulder sleeve. Please, if you have not subscribed, click the subscribe button. It is free. And put on your notification bell so that anytime I post a new video, you get to watch it. All right, let's begin. You are going to make use of this pattern paper to drop the off shoulder sleeve. And how do you know the amount of fabric you're going to put on fold? How do you know the amount of fabric you're going to put on fold? You're going to use your armhole second frames. Armhole second frames plus two inches sewing allowance. Ample circumference plus two inches sewing allowance will determine if your ample circumference is 18. When you divide by two, know that we divide our sleeve by two, not by four. We divide our sleeve by two, not by four. So when you divide your ample circumference by two, because it's on four, when you divide it by two, depending on the measurements you're working with, it will give me nine. This is nine. This is nine plus two inches sewing allowance. You mark it out. All right, let's begin. We are going to start with our starting point. <laughs> All right, let's start by marking out the length of the sleeve. This is my starting point. The length of the sleeve I'm working with is 17 plus 1 inch sewing allowance will make it 18 because it's going to be a long sleeve. 18. And this is my starting point. So let me mark out the lengths. This is my starting point. All right, to get my cap height, to get my cap height, to get your cap height, you're going to divide your bust measurement by 12. Divide your bust measurement by 12. The bust measurement I'm working with is 36. When I divide it by 12, it's going to give me 3 plus 1 inch plus 1 inch will make it four for the cap height i rule out the line your ample circumference your ample circumference you're going to divide it by two you're going to divide it by two not by four please you're going to divide your ample circumference by two. The ample circumference I'm working with is 18. When I divide it by two, it's going to give me nine. It's going to give me nine. I'll mark it here. Nine. I'll mark it here. Plus one inch sewing allowance. Plus one inch sewing allowance, making it 10 for my ample second frame. From here, I'm going to mark my elbow length. My elbow length is 9, depending on where you want your sleeve to stop. But I told you this is going to be a long sleeve. And this is the length. The elbow circumference I'm working with. The elbow circumference I'm working with is. The elbow circumference I'm working with is 14. When you divide it by 2, always divide by 2, it will give me 7 plus 1 inch sewing allowance. You can add 2 depending on what you want. And my wrist. The, uh, the wrist, my wrist is, 
my round wrist is eight when i divide it by two it's going to give me four plus one inch sewing allowance making it five so i'm going to connect if you're working with a short sleeve there's no need taking it up to 17 you can stop at your elbow for the short sleeve of shoulder but i'm going i'm drafting the long sleeve of shoulder now to get the off shoulder parts to get the off shoulder parts you're going to minus your upper bust from your round shoulder circumference minus your upper bust from your round shoulder circumference the upper bust i'm working with is 38 and my round shoulder circumference is 45 so i'm going to minus 45 minus 38 will give me seven it's going to give me seven plus one inch sewing allowance plus one inch sewing allowance will give me eight will give me eight but because um this uh, uh, paper is on fold because this paper is on fold i can't put it here to be too much because this paper is on fold i'm going to divide the eight by two so when i divide eight by two it will give me four this is four eight divided by two because it's on fold when you open it up then you get eight but it's on fold you divide by two and i have four here i'm going to connect please when you're connecting to your ample circumference do not make it too curvy please do not make it too curvy you can use a straight line you can use your curve line but not too curvy if you have any question please ask in the comment section and please like and share my video now we are going to cut before we cut for you to get your accurate upper bust for you to get your accurate upper bust use your tape and measure after sewing please use your tape and measure your front and your back the clothes you have sewed measure the front and the back to get the accurate upper bust before you minus from the shoulder circumference if you have any question i'll be in the comment section to ask your questions to answer your questions now we are going to cut So this is what we have this is what we have and i've told you if you're not working with a long sleeve up shoulder please stop here at your elbow point you wouldn't need this part because you're working with a short sleeve please ask your question and subscribe it is free i love you thank you very much